Hello Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to Silavi Tarot. Let's take a look and see what the vibes are for you in love at this marvelous time. Okay, uh, before we start, <laughs> before we start, of course, check out the description box below for the extended preview or the extended link. All right, if you are interested in going deeper in this reading, okay? Also, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, everything is below, all right? Um, and what else do we have? My new channel, all right? Check out uh, Suleen Lovey. I'll keep the link below, everything is below. Um, if you'd like to meditate, if you'd like to, you know, move into a more relaxed state when you're going to bed and things of that nature, right? Sharpen your relationship with your person, all of that good jazz. All right, so. Let's get started. So very soon just came out. Very soon what? Very soon love is going to show up here. Clarify. It's, it, it's going to show up in a way where I feel like the both of you are going to be able to feel something a bit more intense, right? We're going to be able to feel something more magnetic, something more revealing, Pisces. And I like this energy for you because I feel like you've been thinking about this for some time, right? Like, what should I do? Spirit is saying, trust, trust the process here. All right. I feel like trust is important in this situation because I feel like you're showing up with your heart. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really showing up here. Okay. As we can see, we see very soon coming in here, Pisces, very soon, very soon, very soon we are going to connect. Very soon we are going to meet up. We are going to allow one another to speak from a, a, a loving place, right? And I feel like, Pisces, there's someone here um, that you actually want a deeper bond with, right? You want something um, close with here. But I feel like for some of you, there is a situation with trust. Can I trust this person? And I feel like I'm just really heavy on this energy right now um, for a number of reasons, right? We won't get into that right now, but I just feel like you're asking yourself, you're asking your spirit guides, can I truly trust this person? Can I truly trust that this person is showing up in an authentic way? Or it's not that you don't feel like this person loves you. I feel like you're wondering if this person understands what love is, or if this person is healed or has healed from a lot of other things that are going on in their background, right? There's a lot of background noise here. So I feel like, you know, being a Pisces, being that loving energy of being a Pisces, it's very important for you to trust yourself and trust your intuition here. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept help from others. But again, maybe this person has hurt you before. Maybe this person has shown you certain sides of them that now you're questioning. Is this something that's going to show up again? Or I feel like someone here is in this position of asking themselves, can I trust Pisces, right? Can I trust that Pisces is going to, um, you know, protect me, love me, uh, be considerate, not run from me, not abandon me, not use me, not take advantage of me, not do all those things that everybody else has done to me. And I feel like, you know, this trust energy is coming from both sides, I should say. Okay. We also have island time here. All right, for some of you, there could be different backgrounds or this person could be from the island. Okay. But either way we have, take your time. Take your time, Pisces, okay? Have a very relaxed attitude. Be more light. Be more, um, step into this energy of having faith here, okay? Because I feel like what happens when you're not in this energy of feeling relaxed, you may find yourself saying or doing things that you may regret in the future here, especially with this connection, okay? Especially with um, this new journey that's coming in for you that I feel like is extremely beautiful, but extremely also um, you know, full of lessons and full of, you know, great new beginnings, right? So I'm going to tell you right now, whoever you're connecting with, I feel like there's something powerful coming in for the both of you. Extremely powerful. All right, let's get one more, please, for my Pisces. And it's interesting because you actually have a lot of protection, Pisces. You have your spirit guides right there in the back just saying, I got you. I'm always talking to you. I'm always telling you what's going on. Don't forget about my inner child. Don't forget about us. 
Okay, if that makes sense, Pisces, like don't do so much where you're forgetting that I'm hurt. Don't do so much where you're forgetting that I'm a priority. There's a, it, there's a child here in your energy, whether you have a child or that's your inner child. There's someone here that I feel like that may be watching that really needs to work on healing, right? I need to, to work on my intuition. I need to not avoid what my intuition is saying to me and not run towards this relationship so quickly. Maybe in the past you would run into things or you would want things to move faster, but not really looking at who this person truly is, okay? So it's definitely important for you to listen to yourself, Pisces. Very intuitive energy, right? But you have to listen to yourself because I feel like even before you're getting into this, um, Spirit has told you or Spirit has warned you in the past many times, but I feel like fear has made you take, uh, that's made you taken a lot of different steps here that brought in a level of... Um, <laughs> karma or learning lessons, I should say. Okay. So pay attention to your actions and pay attention to what your intuition is saying. What else do we have here, please? And we have true love. We have true love. We have free yourself. Okay. Mm. It's saying it's take time. It's time to take back control Pisces. Someone here really loves you, but I feel like there's an energy of attachment that happened at some point that really put you in a position where it's like, I really can't see the truth here. Someone here is freeing themselves from what they thought love should be and now stepping into a place where I believe now that love should come from me first. I should love myself and I should be able to trust myself enough to know if I'm moving in the right direction. Some of you are now asking yourself, is this true love? Again, with the trust energy. Is this true love here? And I feel like something's going to present itself where you're going to actually get a huge epiphany and a huge awakening of understanding someone's love language, understanding your love language, and then from there making a decision if this is something that's compatible. Okay, because I feel like for some of you, you may be connecting with someone that, you know, looks at love in a whole different way. You look at love in a different way and trusting yourself enough will let you know if this is the right person for you. Okay, we, when we all connect, there is love. When we connect with someone, yes, there's love. But is this person aligned with you is the question here, Pisces. That's why we have free yourself, right? And I love this energy of freeing yourself because it allows you not to be attached, right? Whenever you're attached so, uh, to a situation, you're unable to think. You're not thinking straight. You're like, oh, well, I want this person. Forget everything that's going on with this person in their life. I want this person, okay? Someone here, it's like they're extremely attracted to your energy pisces we have awakening yeah a lot of you are going to see so much more moving into this next month here you're going to start realizing more like it's there's more growth happening for you pisces in a relationship you're going to start seeing through someone someone's going to start opening up here and you are also going to start opening up from that energy of freeing yourself right loving freely Loving enough to know, well, this person's not ready or this person is ready, right? Or I can trust this person. I could trust that this person's going to do this and do that, right? It's like I've already seen the, the playbook here, right? Let's get some more for this connection here. What is Pisces starting to see? It's such a fierce look here, it's such a fierce energy. Ah, some of you are going to start realizing that this is someone here that has brought in a lot of great lessons. This is a soulmate you're connecting with, Pisces. There's a very powerful energy here that I feel like, ugh. wow, this is very interesting. I feel like a lot of you felt like the minute I connected with this person or the minute that I felt this person's vibration, it was extremely a dream come true. However, here, I feel like someone here has been blocking this energy, blocking you out, pushing you away, and you're going to start seeing through that. You're going to start seeing through this person's fears. You're going to start understanding what this person's doing here, okay? And I feel like, again, with this connection, it's you're, you're starting to realize, well, I can't force myself onto you. I can't force you to love me. I can't force anyone to love me, right? Because whenever I do that, I start to neglect that little girl that lives within, within me, that little boy that lives within me, that little inner child, that inner spirit that needs me to protect them and love them and, and nurture them. OK, so some of you are going to start realizing someone here that you're connecting with has been pushing this connection away. OK, 
But Spirit is saying, also, are you blocking out the lessons here? There's a lesson that was supposed to learn in a past relationship that you had here. And I feel like someone here is just constantly just pushing things away, blocking things out, blocking things out. Let's get some more, please, for my Pisces. I love this energy. This energy is like, I see now. Like, I see you for who you are now. Look at this. We have soon coming in again. Second time soon came out. All right. So this awakening possibly has not happened. I know some of you are watching. You're like, yeah, I know my person. I know how they are. You're going to start seeing more. Stay alert. Okay. We have unspoken feelings. Someone here has not been speaking up, not telling you how they feel, not telling you what they're going through, pushing back here. Okay. Some of you, it's like, you're going to start reading through the lines. You're going to start picking up on things here. You're going to start realizing maybe someone here does not like to commit. We have a commitment phobe here, right? Someone here that's very hot and cold. Someone here that doesn't understand what commitment truly is and what commitment actually requires here, okay? Mm. But then we have someone here, it's like, but they still want your energy, Pisces. It's like, there's something about you that I've been blocking out that makes me still feel attracted to you. I feel like someone here is going to start realizing what you mean to them. This person's been taking their time. Okay, Aquarius energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries energy as well. Scorpio, someone here, it's like, it's like they're awake, awakening to this here. It's like they've been blocking themselves out. But I feel like because you start to notice what's happening, Pisces, your energy starts to shift. You start to speak differently. You start to show up differently. You start to um, communicate differently, right? And of course, we have this free yourself energy. It's weird to saying it's time to take your power back, Pisces. Someone here needs to speak up and tell the truth. Tell me how you really feel here. In the extended, we are going to look at what your person really wants to say to you. What they really feel, what their actions are going to be here. Okay? How are they going to respond to this awakening of this is my person? How? How? right all right so i'll talk to you soon of course the extended is at the bottom of the video okay and like and share and subscribe if this resonates for you have a beautiful one or are you acting like you can't see it let's get some more thank you we have two here it says i ran away from you because i got overwhelmed you're all i ever wanted okay I feel like for some of you, like this person, whenever things get too intense or things get um, a bit too rocky or there's so many emotions and things of that nature, this person takes off for the hills here.